Um, okay, the, um, there's going to be several artists performing here today. And um, we came to this welcoming house uh, for a specific charitable reason. Uh, but houses, homes ra rather, they don't just come in a physical shape. Uh, they come in a spiritual shape. So every artist that is going to perform here tonight will welcome you to a spiritual home of that person. And uh, I would like to welcome you to my spiritual home um, with a song. I have built my home on the grass roads of the Milky Way and the moon. I have cancelled TV and subscriptions to newspapers and the books. In the middle of the night, I am watching the clips of the dreams that I saw many years ago. And only at times when the meteor rain is drumming a beat on my window pane, then I recall that it's all an illusion. Come and be my guest, you know where my house stands. It's on the corner of each passing day. Come and be my guest through the curtains of lace. I'll be spying the street, I'm on your way And when the time comes, I will knock on your door With a bottle of wine and dayrose I'll be coming around when the paradise comes To your sunny, cold earth I will scalp fancy candles from redolent wax Paint the faces of friends in my little chateau And my old gramophone turning years will grow The sprouts of dunes carried off with the flow I will smile to you all, I will do what I want My calendar pages will forever be closed And I'll be coming around when the paradise comes My guest, you know where my house stands. It's on the corner of each passing day. Come and be my guest through the curtains of lace. I'll be spying the street. I'm on your way. And when the time comes, I will knock on your door with a bottle of wine and the rose. I'll be coming around when the paradise comes. To your Thank you. Thank you very much. Ooh, oops, oops, oops. Okay. Uh, so, as in every home, there's rules in my spiritual home. And I would like to ask you for a small favor. For the next couple of songs, please do not clap. Just accept them as they are. Uh, you will know when you can start your applause again. Um, I wanted to thank you for coming here and opening your hearts and your wallets. We have a situation, a situation that is um, kind of described by these two flags. The flag on my right side is the Ukrainian flag. The flag on my left side is the flag of the Russian opposition. The people who are against the war, the people who are helping us even from inside Russia. You, you could get in big, big trouble for displaying this, uh, even in your own home country. Um, we are trying to alleviate, by this fundraiser, individual misery. But um, we are also standing up on a large scale for the values, for the values we believe in, for the values why we came to this country. Right now, they're being, they, they have come under assault, and they 
are being defended by the people we are trying to help. I called my set today, uh, it's called Unexpected. And the reason why I called it Unexpected is because the war cannot be ever, it cannot ever be expected. You can say all you want about the uh, you know, military intelligence and the politician who, politicians who said there will be a war, but the very concept, the very concept of your neighbor, uh, of somebody you know from your former life coming to your house to kill and to pillage and to rape is just beyond the comprehension of most human beings. Therefore, the war is always unexpected. Now, allow me to introduce myself. I see a lot of people here who are, uh, whom I don't know. And I see some people who are, for the first time, at my concerts. Uh, so my name is Alex, and I write songs. I write songs in English, and I write some poetry in English. My muse only speaks one language. I speak four. Um, sometimes I write songs based on something I see around me. For example, I had a song a few years back um, when we had this November jam, you know, when, when cold rain came down and every, everything got icy and I had to, uh, I couldn't get home from work. I came back to my office and I wrote a song about that. It's called November Pain. Um, but a lot of my songs take their inspiration in songs and poetry that I read and hear in other languages. Uh, Russian, Ukrainian, French, Polish. Um, I don't speak French. I understand very little Polish. Um, but unexpectedly, I do speak uh, one of the four languages, uh, Hungarian. Uh, now, I want to tell you a story how that thing came about. I grew up in Kiev, but I spent considerable time of my childhood uh, in the Carpathian Mountains, in a little town called Hust, where my grandparents lived. Hust spoke Hungarian. Hust also spoke Yiddish. It had a sizable Jewish population, had its own yeshiva, had its own famous rabbi uh, before the war. Even after the war, it still had a synagogue. It still had a Lutheran church, a Catholic church, an Orthodox church, all functioning even through the Soviet times. Um, Hust was a quaint little town, you know. It, and, uh, by the way, uh, Hungarian, wasn't the only language spoken, obviously, in Yiddish. There was Czech, there was uh, Romanian, there was uh, Roma, Gypsy language, there was uh, Ukrainian and Russian after the war. Um, it's been a, a part of Austro-Hungarian Empire and then became the Soviet Union after the, after the Second World War. So who was a quaint little town? For example, uh, the street where my grandparents lived, it was paved up until 1980s with river stones. Change came slowly. Change is not expected in this little forgotten corner of the world where even today you need to drive for six, seven hours from the nearest airport to get there. Um, uh, so in the 1980s, they finally dug up, put asphalt on top and sewage and running water underneath. The houses faced the pedestrian walkway and they were at pedestrian level. You could open the shutters, open the window, and stick your head out, and somebody would come by. Very few cars, but people were walking. And you could start a conversation, because everybody knew everybody else, um, obviously. It's a small town. Opposite of one of the windows, there stood an acacia tree, a very old acacia tree with a very rough bark, and this distinct uh, distinct leaves and yellow flowers when it bloomed. It probably stood there, it was probably planted when my grandparents were born. But it definitely was there in that fateful summer of 1944, when in this forgotten corner of Hungary, when nothing happened even throughout uh, while, while the World War II was raging somewhere else. Nothing happened there. Uh, and the change was unexpected. And at that time, my grandparents, they were young parents of a five-year-old son, my uncle, 
who was forever to remain five years old. 1944, summer, sun overhead, like a boxer's blow through the yellow acacia blossom. They are an enlightened nation, you know. They won't kill us. Don't worry, I promise. They got Goethe and Schiller and Bertolt Brecht. They got Beethoven, Brahms and Strauss. Just the sound of marches, I'm afraid, drowns the opera sounds out. They got no plans to kill us that I could detect, and my lies carried no ill intention. But the nooses have tightened around our necks. Anguish reeks from the crowded stations. The barracks are scourged by dirt and disease. Former humans, prostrate and lossome. Just the yellow stars on the sleeves, like those yellow acacia blossoms. Sudden squeal of the wheels and brakes. Even nature is crying. It's raining. Buchenwald Station, France. Our future, get it, that's Sena. Through the sky, the wind swirls up the dust through acacia yellow blossoms. Up to heaven in one final thrust. They can't kill us anymore. Remember, I promised. Vez gada, vez gada, shimir ba. Ivro, imro, ir you say. The mourners scatter, the Hebrew prayer for the dead is one of the most profound and haunting creations of the religious liturgy. It is said that the angels themselves carried it down to the humans. The amazing thing about it is that there is not a single word in it about death. It is purely the glorification of God and His creation of life. Exalted and hallowed be His great name. Blessed and praised Glorified, exalted, and extolled. Honored, adored, and lauded be the name of the Holy One. He who makes peace in his heavens, may he bring peace to the house of Israel and the whole world. And let us say, Amen. Simon is chanting a prayer by the wall. Simon hasn't been to a temple since that war. Simon doesn't believe in God. Simon has seen too much blood spilled by uncovered Gestapo SS to absolve God. Ways. Simon is chanting a prayer by the wall. All his family been taken by that wall. Mother, sisters, brothers, all gone. Just indifferent Brooklyn bricks, they're down. Simon steers, sold his wrinkles uncontrolled. Simon soon will be 100 years old. A son of the 20th century, borrowed few years from 21st. So much pain in his lifetime, bloodshed and loss. Human nature is what it is, 
God not helping. Simon sweaters on his temples, fingers shaking. Simon is chanting a prayer, fulfilling his mother's wish. Send me remember, say for Mama Kaddish. Eli, Eli Chernilevsky, or as they would call him in his native language, Ilya, Elusha. 22 years of age, he is on the Maidan, on the central square, the independent square of Kiev. February 2014, standing up for the values that we here today came to support in the revolution of dignity. He is with his father when the bullets start flying. His father is shot dead. Eli is wounded with three bullets, he recovers. He goes on to become a screenwriter, a poet, and he trains for the military. And when the war breaks out, when the war breaks out, he volunteers for the front lines. Sorry. He volunteers for the front lines. And in the front lines, he writes poetry. He writes poetry in Ukrainian. And I took the liberty of translating one of his poems into English. I think, I hope it sounds as profound or nearly as profound. It rings in the air. It brushes our feet of bullets and shrapnel in human blizzard. And my machine gunner whispers to me, let's go do some battle, yay. Corporal Eli, at this very moment, it dawns on me. God is fitting our lives to the size of a trench. I'm loading my weapons, and I'm thinking, God, all I want is a snicker and a Coke for my thirst to be quenched. Peace and silence without explosions and fear. Get a hug from my daughter. Feel the silk of her braids. But my peaceful thoughts are besmirched to the rear as my fingers the texture caress of grenades. In these trenches, among us there are no strangers. We share the burdens, we dig into clay. Yesterday morning we had an engagement. A few were sent home in a bag, K-I-A. The war's unforgiving, no lies, it's all real. The war's like a poisonous bite of a viper. And I dress up my heart in the layers of steel and repeat to myself, there is no way to break me. And then the sun rises and sends to the world a flowery, colorful, passionate message that normalcy someday will again be reborn and the victory ours will be and success will. I clean up my weapons to gleam in the sun. The steel is the steel in my heart, in my eye. And hearing volleys of enemies' guns, I promise myself, uh, I will come back alive. Ila Chernilevsky, age 30. Killed in action, May 7th, 2022. Write it down on a plain sheet of paper. What to no one you've never have to own. And one step. From ascending to heaven, be the way you were meant by the Lord. Look around at the dawn that is rising 
and the snow sparkling cold in the wind let it wave let it let it hold for a while an instant a bit now recall a little yard by your house Sisters' eyes That were ever so bright How you sat By the hearth with your father How your mom Tucked you in for the night Look around at the dawn that is rising and the snow sparkling cold in the wind let it wave let it hold for a while and then stand a bit now retreat from the depths of your mind How it was Clear, clean and naive Your first love Tender kisses and smiles Feel the pangs But it's better than grief Look around at the dawn that is rising and the snow sparkling cold in the wind let it wave let it hold for a while and then stand a bit Напиши на простому конверті, що ти там у житті не сказав. І за крок до відважної смерті будь таким, яким Бог тебе знав. І поглянь, як навколо світає, як світ неймовірно блищить. Не спіши, най вона зачекає. Не спіши, най вона зачекає. Не спіши, вже весна наступає. Well, one day the war will be over, I promise, and then um, we hope, we hope, hope is a fundamental word in every language. In every human concept, hope is a fundamental word. I can say hope in a few languages. Nadezhda, Nadia. Israel has its song of the country, right? The hymn 
called Hatikva, hope. What is hope in Spanish? Hmm? Nobody speaks Spanish? Oh, exactly, thank you, thank you. Yes, that's important because Esperanza is a nice, bright, big sounding word. Good to use in songs. So we, we hope that one day there will be victory and the boys who are holding the machine guns and machetes will come back home and they will take up musical instruments. And they will march down the street and play for us. When the sudden sound of the trumpets still faint commands a fierce grip and words abrupt like midnight falcons swoop down from the fevered lips when music gathers stands by stanza with inspiration from above by a little band of Esperanza conducted by maestro love by a little band of Esperanza conducted by maestro love when years came of loss and turmoil when sudden gusts of bullets rained when death came down without warning, without mercy and restraint, we rose to battle brave exultant, with inspiration from above, by little band of Esperanza, conducted by Maestro Love, by little band of Esperanza. Conducted by Maestro Love The drum is bent, the trumpet dented The warm bassoon begins to crow The old clarinet was crushed and mended But played by such a dashing row The flutist grace is so entrancing The maser governs with his staff That little band of Esperanza Conducted by Maestro Love, that little band of Esperanza. Conducted by Maestro Love. Надежды маленький оркестрик Под управлением любви Надежды маленький оркестрик Под управлением любви And now you can clap. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now. I'm sorry. I need to bring this a little bit closer and then it will be all fine. So, when that happens, when that happens, when normalcy will come back, then our lives will come back to our regular cadence, and we will come out, and we will enjoy the summer, the June, and do things that we do in June. The city is a stage, but no actors. It's deserted. 95 in the shade. The boardwalk, so hot, it's hurting. Whoever you are, turning the gears of this sun, turn them down. Down to the west, below the horizon, before the city melts down and slides molten into the boiling sea, like from the Kilauea mountain slides lava, molten. The sea is used to swallowing cities, to drown them all, its eternal motive. But today, 
it's like a kitten. Sweet, soft, but swift. Licking the shore, playing, giving a distant sail, a gentle lift, no rush. The banner at the Cafe Hanoi is hanging limp. The shadows morph before you can catch a glimpse of their form that was there just a few seconds ago. The sky changes its colors, reflects in the stone facades in a golden glow fast. Only time is faster. So hard to catch. Every year I run faster. But what's the use of running inside a cage? The time eats us up. Not just us, denim too. Correlation, causation. Every season affirms the rules. And those shorts that the young ladies prefer to wear get shorter and shorter. Every year, more cutouts, tears. Soon, all that's left will be just the belt. The rest <laughs> will be buried. Although, in all fairness, nobody seems to be worried. Strolling down the boardwalk, smile from ear to ear. In the earphones, happy tunes. The city deserted. The stage has moved to the beach. Name of the play is June. Nice. Thank you. Wow. Woo. How interpretation of the Italian moment, of course. Havana una na. Dance, amiga. Havana una na. Shake it, amiga, Havana, una na. Swing it, amiga, horizon is clear. Dance, the winter never comes here. Sweaty barbudos and desperados crowd the city that's fronting the sea. The weather forecast is optimistic. Tomorrow will be cooler by one degree Imperceptible, undetectable A rather faint from a 99 Sliding all the way down to a cool 98 This is how a windless moon is notching The clouds across the sky this is how, instead of an action movie, you are watching the paint dry. This is how an old pushback ruler, to put it bluntly, thinks that he is still irreplaceable for his forsaken country. This is how an eye refuses to acknowledge the creep of old age This is how the shreds of truth are shed By the lies we catch Havana una na Havana una na Havana una na This is how the heat bends the road ahead into a shiny mirror. This is how anxiety grips your gut when you feel that fear. But fear not, Havana is hot. The cold is nowhere near. No worries, not even a single. Oh, I forgot the lyrics. Not even a fleeting thought The horizon is clear Havana una na Dance amiga Havana una na Shake it amiga Havana una na Swing it amiga Horizon is clear Dance The winter never comes here Never comes here Never comes here Never comes here. Thank you. Okay. Um, 
I think it's time to start wrapping up a little bit, right? It's, we've been going for a while. Um, in the old times, there used to be a tradition of uh, saying a praise before going to bed. When the sun is setting, you know, when the day is wrapping up. And the sun is setting right now. We have a nice end of the day. Um, I once, once heard some lines by a famous Ukrainian uh, poet, Lina Kostenko. She's now nearing her 90s, probably. Um, and those lines, uh, the funny story about it is, um, you know, in, in, a, in school, back in like middle school, they made us study poetry like that. I absolutely hated it. It just it didn't work. It didn't work at all. And um, um, I saw a, a, a video clip on YouTube once. So they put the, these, uh, these verses to music. And two girls from music school, maybe like they're, you know, 13 or 14, they're sitting there on the stage and playing uh, the song uh, on the two Ukrainian national instruments, the banduras. Uh, and uh, Lena Kostenko herself is sitting in the audience and her face is like, you could just read it in, on her face, get me the hell out of here. <laughs> yes. But then once, I thought, I, I, I saw somebody send me uh, another uh, video from YouTube. And there were three brutish guys who took these verses and they put them to a nice, good rock beat. Simple, simple. But it sounded all of a sudden so profound, and I thought, oh my God, this would sound so good if I wrote something similar <clears throat> in English. Um, let me try to read first a couple of lines in Ukrainian, and then uh, I, will, I will progress to the song. Вечірні сонце, дякую за день. Вечірні сонце, дякую за втому, за тих лісів просвітлений Едем, і за волошку в житті золотому, за твій світанок, і за твій зеніт, і за мої опечені зеніти, за те, що завтра буде зеленіть, за те, що вчора встигло отзвеніти. Um, it's called the evening sun in Ukrainian. Uh, in English, it's called a little bit different. <laughs> Thank you for the day, a day of labor and for feeling tired, for glints of sunshine and for shadows play, for faithful friends and resting by the fire. Purple sunset, thanks for greening trees and for all the leaves that fall before the winter. For sun that's rising over the coise sea and for musicians' strong and steady fingers. Purple sunset. Sunset, my purple sunset, thank you for the day. My purple sunset, my purple sunset, my purple sunset, thank you for the day.
children's laughter Flowers in the grass For jazz and blues And swing at the rock and roll For what I want to do For what I must For you, good people Nurturing my soul And for tomorrow Carrying my hopes For yesterday that saw those hopes and body Ideas, people, songs, kaleidoscope For what will be and what has passed already My purple sunset My purple sunset My purple sunset My purple sunset, my purple sunset, thank you for the day. No, 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 not today. I know, I, I can. I, oh, actually, you know what? I will. Thank you. But only, only a small snippet, okay? Snip away. So, yes, <laughs> I'll snip away. So, as my last song, I will sing a little snippet in, in Russian. Um, and the story of this song is this. Uh, the, the, the song that is the inspiration for this was written by my, one of my favorite uh, Russian songwriters, Andrei Makarevich. He is, his band, The Time Machines, has just turned 53 years old. Um, so congratulations to him. Um, he, is, he has emigrated at the start of the war to Israel, and he is going to probably stay there. Um, so, uh, it's, it's an interesting thing because it's one of the earliest songs that I, uh, I've written as an interpretation and a lot of songs they sound musically and poetically, they, say, they have exactly the same construct as the original um, poem or song that inspired them. In this particular case, the musical and poetic structure is completely different from the original. So uh, allow me to just sing the first verse in the original, and then I will switch to, uh, to English. And what attracts me in this song, like in a lot of my songs that I try to translate or interpret, is that this song is so universal for the human experience. Anybody who has lived a life will understand this song in any language, and understand this story in, in any language, whether you live in China or whether you live in South America or anywhere in between. Uh, it is uh, amazingly universal. Ooh -ooh. Sorry for that. Yes, I was born. И огром. Он 
Мне теперь дороже тишина. I see some people singing along. И живу я в старом, старом доме. Из него выходят три окна. The song is called Three Windows. The battle's done. Hard times are gone and quiet settles in. And for excitement in my life, the chances are so slim. I live away, I live so far. Seclusion's bitter pill in little house under stars on top of grassy hill. I see from window to the east a meadow in the blue Where nature's sprightly vibrant feast will banish any gloom The birds of color fly in flames, the sun is shining bright And happy children playing games in the careless delight I wake up to sunny skies, splash water on my face. I come to window to the east, and I remember games, games that I used to play as boy in youthful paradise. Those memories will give me joy and sparkles to my eyes. On the south side, the forest, as tall as it is vast, so dark that even daylight's forced to hide from its black wrath. And as I walked in my exploits down fearful forest paths, its mystic dwellers watched me close with hungry, vicious eyes. And now, as I remember back to battle days long gone, I see in forest shades of black, unbending face of time. I'm glad I no more have to wage relentless daily strife and face those creatures' fearful rage to keep the flow of life. my window to the west I see an endless sea where waves with foamy sparkling crests are running strong and free as time will pass from age to age in distant lands beyond the ocean wipes like ancient sage our footsteps from the sand when my friends are gone and leave me alone And if the walls are crashing down and fear turns my heart to stone And when I am oppressed with thoughts of imminence of death I come to corner of my home with window to the west Thank you very much, and again, thank you for opening your hearts and your minds for this wonderful, wonderful course. Thank you.
Gracias.